Hello there Titan fans, this is Kodamono, here to talk about the different maps on Frontier Defense and what Titans work best in the various situations they find themselves in. Let's get started. First is Blackwater Canal. Here Scorch, Legion and Monarch shine in fairly close quarters and clusters of AI units. Ion can also be used here with some decent effect, providing zero point tripwire is used. Scorch works well with the damage over time game and can wipe out enemy units incredibly fast. Tempered plating can also be used to get in closer to use the flame shield. With overcore and the Aegis upgrades that increase the amount of flame core earned, Scorch can unleash its flame core ability with incredible frequency. Legion is a solid choice as movement deviations are limited and all the AI forces are great at moving in a straight line towards bullets. Monarch's bullets are amazing at dealing with infantry and Energy Thief can see plenty of use when combined with a good offensive teammate, providing you assist them with shields and keep them alive. Ion's tripwire is super effective at dealing with all sorts of threats too, especially if enemy units get too close to the harvester or are on the approach in those narrow lanes. Northstar can see some use by the harvester shooting through enemy titans that get too close. However, she will be overwhelmed without proper use of tether traps, arc traps and possibly support from other teammates depending on how confident you are. Ronin sees some use here, however there are far too many times where Ronin just rushes in, gets in the way, wastes time with executions and nuke ejects. Please don't be that pilot. Moving over to forward base Kodai, the titans that excel here are Legion, Monarch, Ronin and Northstar. Ion once again gets a notable mention here, along with Tone. Legion is a superb backline support titan to guard the harvester and can hang out on the left side of the map. Monarch takes the left and central sides well as she can shoot her teammates with shields from up high, monitor surroundings and deal with enemy forces at a safe distance. Ronin can roam around the map superbly and has decent enough damage output to deal with AI forces. At higher Aegis levels, Ronin really comes into his element and wreaks havoc on the battlefield with the Sword Core. Northstar provides superb support on any side of the map, but manages particularly well in the upper central area. Providing Northstar is aware of the central area enemies and doesn't engage in close combat, unless the Bite Core is available, there is nothing for Northstar to fear. Ion works fairly well as a left and right side roamer dealing with enemy forces using the tripwire and taking them out with support from the team. Tone can be used similarly to Northstar in Kodai as well, however it isn't anything Northstar can't do. Next we have Homestead, where the likes of Ion, Northstar and Legion really excel. To an extent, Tone and Ronin can also be used. Ion works incredibly well at dealing with all forces from the right side of the map, the splitter shot is exceptional on the flying drones. Tripwire works well on killing grunts and dealing damage to reapers and AI titans. And the laser core deals incredible damage in the latter rounds. Northstar can shoot right through the middle of the map and deal massive damage with the piercing shot. However, it needs to be careful of the flying drones and would require support from a well placed turret and other titans to deal with them. Northstar can also take out the ever annoying tick producing reapers on the left side of the map, should they appear. Legion works incredibly well with Northstar as it can handle the flying drones with power shots and deals consistent damage through the middle and left sides of the map. Tone can act as a more supportive Northstar, with more hit points to snipe from a distance to deal damage. Ronin works well as a roamer but needs to be careful of incoming damage. Scorch works very well at dealing with the flying drones with its flame shield and can wipe out the nuke titans exceptionally quickly in the latter rounds. However, due to the open nature of this map, Scorch may not be the best titan to pick. Now we move on to Rise, which is probably the easiest map for this mode. Pretty much all titans work well here, however Ronin is the weakest pick even when compared to Tone. Scorch is exceptional at locking down lanes and denying all titans that dare trespass. A good Scorch will mostly hang out in the middle lane, but provide cover fire for the left and right lanes. 
Scorch can also deal with the flying drones with great ease when using the flame shield, and can wipe out ticks with a gas can. Legion functions similarly to Scorch, however does slightly less impressively against large clusters. Monarch works as she does on other maps, being able to provide shields to her allies and deal great cluster damage with her electric smoke. Ion works fairly well when the tripwire is utilised and handles decently against the flying drones, but may require support when the big clusters start coming into the mix. Northstar is another example of a titan that functions as well as Scorch, being able to zip between the left and middle lanes with ease, shooting through enemy and friendly titans alike and deal massive damage to all forces that dare approach. Northstar can utilise the tether trap when forces get too close, but with clever use of arc traps this shouldn't be an issue unless you want even more enemies to stay still and get punished. The only thing Northstar needs to worry about is the left lane ticks and the flying drones, however with a good scorch ally this should be a minor issue. Tone works similarly to Northstar, but not as efficient at dealing with clusters. Finally, we have Ronin, who does not have as much sustain as he does in the other maps due to being restricted in the narrow lanes. Ronin players will likely just get in the way of all the other players and fish for executions, being a general annoyance to the team. Finally, we have War Games. On the whole, all Titans can be used here with varying effectiveness. Starting with Scorch, he can lock down either the early right side or the left side of the map with great ease. The Flame Shield can be used to take out the flying drones that may approach from the right side of the map as well. Legion works similarly to Scorch, however does a much better job at guarding the Harvester this time around. Legion doesn't deal well with big clusters of AI forces as well as Scorch, however he can easily hold his own and can keep the early right side completely locked down solo. Ion works well as a distant roamer, dealing with approaching titans and rooftop reapers. Ion is very capable of taking out the mortar titans as well, since their low initial attention to you is enough to put one in doom state before they even stand up after setting up, and Ion can also approach other titans from behind as they approach the harvester. Ronin works exactly like Ion in the back of the map, however there are a few very notable differences. Ronin will not be handling the rooftop reapers due to the limited effective range of his weapon, and will need to worry about approaching ticks. On the flip side, Ronin is absolutely exceptional at roaming the map and dealing with forces efficiently, especially when the higher levels of Aegis upgrades are unlocked. Swordcore is incredibly lethal when sneaking up behind AI forces. Northstar can still be used as AI forces still tend to cluster together, However, effective use of tethers will be required, otherwise Northstar will find itself overwhelmed with incoming forces. Working better in the latter rounds, Northstar can lock down the left passageway of the map, however will need to be careful of incoming titans on the ship side of the map. It is possible for Northstar to hold down the right side of the map as well, being able to take down the rooftop reapers and incoming titans, however in the higher difficulties Northstar will tend to get overwhelmed by itself. Tone? Well, I've said enough of how Tone is fairly underwhelming in this mode. Tone may fare better against Hordes over Northstar, however as Northstar can shoot through multiple enemies and Tone can't, there isn't really a lot of reason to use Tone. That's not to say you can't use Tone, and I'm not a Tone hater either, but on the whole Tone is easily the weakest Titan for Frontier Defence. Sorry Tone. For now that wraps up this video. Respawn will be adding more maps to Frontier Defence, and I'm sure other Titans will see more use, but for now we will end this video here. Hopefully this will help you with your various team compositions, and has proved useful. Let us know how you approach these maps in the comments below. If you found this video useful be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. This is Kodomono signing off, good luck out there pilots!